So I thought I'd show you guys one of my favorite collectible pieces here. It's my uh, Technetics Mark I LTD coin computer. These are uh, getting harder and harder to find, uh, especially in this type of condition. This one has been totally unmodified. And um, those of you have, who have maybe looked for one of these before, it's very difficult to find one that hasn't been hip mounted where they've, they've taken a pole off and so you can mount it on your side. Um, I could never hunt like that. I tried doing that with my 6000 DI Pro years ago when I was just starting out and that didn't work well. But anyway, and then other guys have found ways to do a, uh, uh, a pole mount that comes through the, the top. Uh, so you actually have an arm cuff on it that works a little better. But I didn't want anything like that. I wanted the total original um, uh, thing. Uh, uh, machine. So, and in case you're asking, uh, the battery clips, yes, they are in perfect condition and the thing does run. So, I wanted to show you, I got some targets laid out here and um, just, to, just to hear the tones on this is really cool. So, I got a regular uh, uh, clad um, um, nickel. It, no, it's not a war nickel. It, it's, um, it's just a regular nickel from the 40s. And then I do have a war nickel there, uh, clad quarter, silver quarter, clad dime, silver dime, zinc penny, wheat penny, and um, a heavy man's ring, and a thin band, gold ring, pull tab, screw top, foil, 69 cal, musket ball, uh, 58 cal, uh, pistol ball, uh, oh yeah, mu a musket percussion cap, and a 22 short. Um, it doesn't do very well on low conductors, but um, let me turn it on. And um, as you can see, it's got a pretty detailed uh, screen. It's pretty sweet. And um, it's pretty accurate. I would say it's just as accurate as the 6000 Di um, was um, back then. And I believe this came out in 85. I couldn't afford to have one back then. But I um, always wanted to have one. Took me a, a, long, a long time to finally find one in this condition. So anyway, um, let me fix that 22 short. Put it over here. All right. So check this out. I got the nickel right here. That's the clad nickel goes up in tone a little bit and it goes up the meter a couple points now check the um check the clad uh quarter out and now the silver quarter clad quarter silver clad silver so it jumps up like two points now on the um clad dime silver dime clad silver clad silver so it, it, it there's a variance of a of a a, a a little bit of pitch in a couple points um, on both of those silver coins. And so here you got the zinc penny and wheat penny. And if you see there, it's pretty much right on the zinc and the copper wheat penny. right over there a couple more notches and then you got um your uh large gold ring it's reading the same as like screw tab or screw screw top there's a screw top a screw top is a a little lower in pitch screw top gold ring and then you got your 
pull tab, which is a little lower. And then you got small gold ring, which is in the nickel range. And then you got foil. Let me move that up a little bit. Okay. It's not strong on low conductors. Then you got the uh, musket percussion cap there. Sixty-nine cal. Um, it's got a pistol ball right there. Not too strong. Fifty-eight cal. And uh, then there's a twenty-two short. So, yeah, I don't think this was used for relic hunting much, but uh, I know the guys in the park liked it back then for uh, coin hunting. So, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a blast from the past and um, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, man.